Hey, folks, this is an Edwards at the Rock Shop at 311 Broadway, historic downtown Paducah, where positive energy works. It is Friday, January the 8th, 2021. And man, what a ride it has been energetically for the last few days, right? So we've been, I've been talking a lot about the chaos that's been uh, bombarding us. And as an empath or a sensitive, uh, how challenging these times really are. And what we can do to hold that space for light and love. And that's really about the most important thing that we can do right now is hold the space. That's why we're here. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And I thought I would share with you a couple of my own personal challenges. They're kind of funny. And I'm hoping that you can relate to it and find some inspiration for how to navigate through these trying times in your own life. I, like many, are horrified at what happened uh, on Wednesday at our nation's capital. From my worldview, it's not acceptable at any level for any reason. And it particularly upset me. It upset me in many, many ways. And so on social media last night, um, someone in my my periphery circle, posted something that sounded like they were giving an excuse to the um, the violent riots that happened at the Capitol. And I had immediate visceral reaction. I'm like, what? And so my my first instinct was to, you know, Found out, yeah, but what about? And I, I even took the time to do a little search on, on photos and I was going to post photos and her, you know, as a response. And I, you know, I mean, I, I was just going to like, and my angels were like, ah, hold on here, Susan K. Hold on. What are you doing? And I'm like, yeah, but we can't let this stand in the, and they're like, uh, you know, if you can get this visual of my guardian angels, you know, they've got me by the scruff of the neck and going, okay, settle down, kitty cat, settle down. So uh, the advice the other day was, if it doesn't feel like love, it's not what you need to be doing. You're supposed to be holding the space for light and love, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, I think I can safely say I wasn't feeling love in the way I had thought I was going to respond. So I stopped and I paused and I'm like, yeah, this doesn't feel like love. And I gave it some time and I'm like, yeah, this is not love. (laughs) This is not love. And when I really looked at it, what I, what I was really sort of hoping was that it would convince this other person and then all the people who were likely to respond of their wrongness and how I was right and that it would start this whole big you know churn of negativity and defense and it's like you know what I could almost hear you know the chaos monsters in the corner smacking their lips going yeah let's get this started because i'm hungry for some more of this chaos and dissonance and yeah yeah you think you're such a light worker mhm yeah we got you don't we we got you we got you right where it counts so come on come on down and hang out with us for a little while and get all that anger and that you know frustration get it going yeah and get some other people come on put your dukes up okay And I'm like, ooh, yeah, no, I don't think so. So I sat back, I relaxed, thought about it, deleted the pictures from my phone because I don't want that energy on it. So then I was like, I will take a more measured approach and I will will be scholarly and I will explain to them why. And I'm like, (laughs) it's no different, Susan. It's no different. Stay out of it. You know, and I struggle with where, where and when is it appropriate to take a stand? And, and I have defined that for myself and I'm not going to get into that right now. But, um, on social media, what happens is that once we put something out there, it lives forever. 
Okay? And that's a real heavy karmic toll. And so um, I really was glad that the angels had grabbed me by the scruff of the neck and said, sit down and shut up, Susan. Okay? Um, I don't want to be responsible for the energy, the negativity that responding to one of those kinds of posts was going to create. Because like I said, I could hear the monsters in the corner going, ah, yeah, come on, let's get it going, folks. I'm hungry. So how do you take a stand for light and love? Well, uh, what I chose to do, I when I need to settle down, I light a candle and I say some prayers. I do a very short little meditation. I listen to some of my Ho'oponopono tapes. And then um, I like to watch like either a really stupid kids movie that makes me laugh or I go and, and um, you know, watch a, a documentary like a nature film, something like that. And I and I stop paying attention to the news and to the social media because it is designed to get our attention. It is designed to get us emotional. If we're not emotional about something, we're not going to engage in it. And I let myself get back to center, okay? And the big lesson is that, look, we are going through chaos right now. And chaos loves more chaos. And what my job is, and I believe what your job is, is to step aside and let that tornado pass, okay? And then when the, the, the tornado's gone, going, this is the way, this is the way. And holding that space for light and love and not contributing to all of the dissonance that's out there because it's not helpful. It's not helpful. Yeah. And there are times to take a stand. There are times that, that you have to. But right now we're just in the middle of chaos and people are very impassioned about their points of view. And so right now no one can hear each other. So let's listen to each other. Uh, let's stay away from those impassioned, vitriol kinds of posts back and forth. And um, as my mom used to like to say, you keep your own nose clean. Okay, so I'm going to keep my nose clean today and not get engaged in all of that. Um, I'm backing away from social media and just letting myself get back to love. And folks, you know what? When you back away and get that bigger perspective, um, this too shall pass. I do hope that that helps. Had to tell on myself. Um, I, I hope that explains that it's just natural. Uh, but when you're a committed light worker, you really have to take responsibility for your actions. And so keep your nose clean. Love you guys. Have a very, very good day. This is Susan at The Rock Shop. Bye.